Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new series that I'm doing on this channel. This is the British East India Company mod from Red Total War. Now, for those, of you, for those of you who don't know what this mod is, this mod takes place during the Sepoy Mutiny or the Indian Mutiny, depending on how, which one you call it, which lasts between 1857 and 1859, in which, when this ended, uh, England got full control over India and the East India Company ceased to exist. So, in this mod, I'm going to play on a normal, because we don't have much time, and every time I play on either hard, or uh, very hard, I usually never finish, just because I'm not really good at combating it, but, I am going to try it on hard, and I'm going to put the battle difficulty on very hard, because I can fight very hard battles, I just cannot fight a uh, hard camp, or very hard campaign. So, uh, no advisor help, 60 minutes, either way, uh, basically, I have to control every region, if you see here. I'm not going to go for a prestige victory, we're going to just go for world domination, all we got to do is conquer all of India, that's it. Let's go ahead and start the game. Let's get into them. There's, I don't really, what I do know is how it started, why the mutineers failed. I don't like how it says Knights of St. John. I don't get that. So, if you have a, you gotta be kidding me, I have to go to with Portugal. So I also have to destroy the Mughal Empire. Go to war with Mysore and Portugal. Crap. I don't have to go to war with Persia. So really nothing changed, but British East in the company. Which says Knights of St. John, but I'm not. Alright, so let's see what we gotta do here. So I don't want to get some line infantry built, actually. Hmm. Alright, so who are we at war with? So, so, so the Mother Confederacy. Alright, so we should actually get an army built here. Hmm. Right, let's see what we can get. Let's go for the one turn line infantry. We'll get some dragoons. And. This is bad artillery. I want. I guess I'll go for you. Let's get two of you. Now, down here, I'm at peace, but I'm still going to use you to recruit. Let's get some roads so that we can reinforce our positions. So, we're good. And we'll get some line infantry here. And then here in Salon. get ships here we can get six rates here this is a fishery so I can build a six rates in this mod all right let's look at diplomacy mm -hmm. so Mughal Empire is who we allied to Let's go ahead and get trade with them since we are allied to them. Perfect. 
Now let's see who else we can get it from. My sword is on here, right? Um, and Portugal. Wisdom trade with you for all you guys. I hate you guys. Uh, does the United States exist yet? No. Hmm. Let's go. Let's get some trade with the United States. Nobody wants to trade with me. Alright. There's only one person that I know who every time you ask for trade, they can give it to you. Ottomans don't fail me. Wow. So the Ottomans just, just hate me. So the Marathas. Alright, France. Hmm. Spain. No. New Spain. Thank God. Jesus. That would take me forever. Alright, so that's all the trade we can get. So those are our objectives. So we had to capture Hindustan. We had to capture 15. So, we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I can capture everything but the Portuguese territory and be able to complete the campaign. So I'm going to try and avoid war with Portugal. Don't really think I need war with Portugal. I uh, hope Spain will take them out of that way they can rebel. But uh, yeah, that's all we can do this turn. So let's go ahead and turn. So uh, I will be putting out a. How about. Yes. Okay. So we have an alliance with my sword now. So basically, what our goal is going to be in this campaign is we're gonna kill the Marathas first then we can backstab our allies Yo, I shouldn't have said that military alliance with my sword so I wouldn't be able to kill them anyway so a uh, new channel schedule is gonna be going out in I don't know I don't know where I put it out what? workers riot burn you down to the ground and we're going to build a church here um, so what's our yearly income? 9k is our income. Golly, why are you rioting? Somebody's making you guys angry. Good God. George Hansen. Patrick Grant. Who's the general down here? George Goodwin. And Theodore Dieton. Alright, so...
So when you look here, we have horse artillery. This army has real artillery. Hmm, alright. I do want to send some troops, but I can't. These guys are unhappy. I don't want to actually now destroy that. I think that. My sword in Portugal are at war. Mm. Oh, is that why? Can I get an alliance with you? Alright, my sword. You don't get no more, and you don't get no more of this, because England needs to be my ally. No, England, I'm the East India Company, you... Alright, so I'm going to have to try and get back with them. Uh next turn, I'll send some cash, that should work, but um, so, basically the backstory behind this Indian Mutiny, no, um, backstory behind Indian Mutiny is this, uh, the East Indian Company decided that they were going to use new cartridge types, um, now to make these, uh, the, I guess the paper cartridges, the part you had to bite off was made in the, it was cow fat. So, as you know, in the Hindu religion, cows are sacred. Alright, let's run down. And some more troops. Alright, England. Let's talk alliances. Alright, I'm prepared to give you 2,000. No? Alright. How about this? I'm prepared to offer 5,000. Last offer seven thousand. All right, let's do something else then. Give me this. Give you this. In turn, give you two thousand. I'll pay that for ten turns. Thank God, finally. All right, so we're gonna lose two thousand a turn for ten turns. I think that was, that was, I, I believe that was enough. We need uh, England as an ally. Just because it's historically accurate and I'm prepared to lose that kind of money to keep history intact. Alright, so now we have, we have roads connecting up the entire empire here. Alright. Let's go get that. We have left. That's a fishery. Uh, how much does a trading port give me? All right, yeah, I'm gonna destroy you. I'm gonna get a fishery. Uh, no. Let's go ahead and send an expedition into this for it. Just in case, just in case someone does attack, we have someone in here in this fort. Uh, do I have any spies? No. 
Alright, so let's get back onto the subject I was talking about earlier. So, let's get settlement fortifications up here as well, just in case we do get attacked, we can hold out and not lose our capital. And on that one, the turn. Alright, so, what happened was, since cows are very sacred, and the East Indian Company were killing cows, using their fat to make the cartridges, I believe that was what was going on. I might be wrong, but I believe that was what was happening. They just all des deserted, uh, created a mutiny, and left the army. The East Indian Company was outraged. Well, these mutineers, who were the Sepoys, is what they called the Indian troops at the time, were Sepoys, then started rebelling. They saw that they were being undermined, their religion was being undermined. So, uh, the only reason why this rebellion didn't work was, yes, they rebelled in large numbers, but they were split up. As you can see here, my allies are here, and they're split. Mm -hmm. The Marathas are split, my sword is split. All these people who are loyal to me or against me are all split up in chunks. There's no unified group. And that's the reason why they lost. But the damage that they had inflicted on the East India Company was very severe. Um, the East India Company was had its own military. Uh, they were basically kind of like the 13 colonies, Canada, Oh, sure. They were kind of like a commonwealth at the time, I guess you could say. They recognized the queen, but this was their domain right here. Yes. The Prince. land was not straightly Hold owned on. by England. In a sense. I guess you can say it like that. Forwards! March! We're gonna need some... Immediately! Cav down here too. We're going to get an army together and we're going to go over here and crush this rebellion. Our next turn we're going to have it destroyed. Yeah, I'd rather get the trading port. Um, my goal is with this trading port I can open up another line of trade. I'm hoping with Russia. Um, Bavaria is very friendly, but they don't have any ports. Uh, who else is friendly with me? Uh, Venice. Um, United Provinces hate me. Venice loves me. Portugal, not so much. Alright, so let's look here. Who likes me? Venice. Austria likes me. I will right, we'll trade with Austria. That'll be who we trade with, because there's a lot of money to be made with Austria than Venice. Also, Russia likes me. Anyways, so... Let's see what we can do. We can upgrade anything here. Everything's fully upgraded, or there's no need to. What's the highest thing we can get on the market right now? So rice is basically like the wheat. Okay. So sugar is 16, ivory is 35. But can we get any ships to trade ports? Am I wondering this mod? Are there even trading ships? So, if so, I, I would go to the East Indies. Uh, have a look. For the six raid. Let's start getting a navy built up. And we'll get... We will get some more line. As well with some missile cav and two units of Gurkhas. Hey, these skirmishers are Gurkhas, by the way. If I look here... Yep, these are Gurkhas.
Anyways, um, I think that's all we can do for right now. As long as I can take the build. Two turns. Alright. Oh, we can actually get some stuff down here. A lot of tea. That was one of the main exports, so. Alright, um. Once we defeat this rebellion, I need to start marching my army in the Hindu stand. So, let's go ahead and end the turn. 7k left. I wonder if Great Britain might send an army. Anyway, so during the Indian Mutiny, there were three major battles that took place. I don't know their names, I remember reading about them. The first one, I believe, well, two out of the three were East India Company, like the major battles were success of the East India Company. One was a defeat. Now, this defeat was only because there was like maybe 65 guys holding the town or something like that. And they picked up in this little like fort, kind yes, of. Sir. In the town. We shall win. Now I'm gonna quick save. And yeah, this will say nothing, but I want you guys to have a look at uh, what these guys look like. Um, I've seen what they look like because I. And um, so I'm gonna show you guys how they are. Uh, how so that the auto reserve is probably not going to kill them all so if I play it I'll kill them all and then I can get my army to regroup with itself and march it off to war so um one thing I did not do was start up a timer uh, very bad guys if you ever do hour long specials every day unless that's your thing and people will watch that I don't know that many people who sit there and watch an hour long video. I mean, they, they might, they just had to watch it in parts because usually I can't sit through an hour long. Anyway, so let's go ahead and set this up. So let's have a look at the unit. So here we have our Dragoons. Very nice. They have the colonial style hat. With, I, I forget the rag's name. It's, it, there's a French name, I think, for it. We have our horse artillery here, very nice looking, very nice. Then we have our loyal foot infantry, or the loyal sepoys. Very, very nice looking. Now, we have over here our British troops. We have the 21st Regiment of Foot. We have the 20th Regiment of Foot. Looking nice. Do I have two 20th Regiments of Foot? That I use that big. 19, blah blah blah, they all look the same. Alright, so where's my general? There he is. Let's have a look at him. He uses generals in the center, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so I'm getting some stuttering there. Alright, so I hope you guys all enjoyed what these humans look like. I think they look very nice. Um, a video will be coming out on how to install this mod. Alright, let's get the cab in the back here. So there's no wedge or anything like that. I'm not gonna put my can there just because there's a stone fence there. I think right here is a yes, good fire. Alright, so let's get all three of these guys. Let's get them three lines. Or we'll at least attempt. Say a fire by rank. Then we'll get you men. Spread out like so. Then we'll get actually should go all four of you guys in if we can. We'll get There we go. 
So why can't you form up? We'll put a unit of cav there. Uh, we'll deploy a unit in the back, and we'll have, have my general here. Let's move you out of the way, I don't like Alright, so we'll move my cab that way and have them meet up with the rest of my cab because the enemy cab is over here. Alright, so let's get my main battle line. Yeah, don't show any of these guys. I want to see how, how how much I can kill. Sure, I don't know. Target them. I see my cab moving forward. We'll deploy my cab over here. You guys don't look as professional. get you guys over here we'll flank you guys there's a nice hill right here and I, I'm guessing I want to capture it so I'll have this infantry line right here oh that's gonna be the shots yes that's the money did we clip the other oh, I'm being very aggressive I'm gonna move my general up since there's no artillery move my general up You guys get heat fatigue. Resistance to morale shocks. And you guys don't have resistance to shit. Do you? Rank fire. So you guys, these guys can fire by rank. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh, that was wonderful. Get some. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was good. Are right, they gonna they're gonna try and charge forward? Let's go ahead and start moving my cab up. Let's get these guys, make sure they're in position. Come on, you gonna get in position? You gonna, you know, put some volleys into them for me? Alright, so we have some engagements. After this camel doing man's my man. Go ahead and start getting a flank going. Oh, I want to see this. Look at this charge. Oh man. Oh. 
is still charged. I was this here. Get those troops. Not even, not even bother. Hunt them down. Do not let them get away from me. I'm a general that runs some guys. These guys look, these unit miles are just so good. Why aren't you shooting? You, you know how to shoot. You run them down, you run them down. You get some rear charges right here. Aren't you guys going to shoot? No. Don't fail me now, lads. Do 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 do. Uh, don't let that land rattle get away. Alright, you. Come around and get these guys. Artillery, you can hold fire and then back up. Might have caused some front of fire there. Minimal casualties, minimal casualties, thank god. Look at these. these men look so great. I love this mod already. Right, let's go ahead and get you guys turned around. These guys are bad enough. Fire guys, I don't want you to continue. There's a lot of friendly fire that would go on if you did that, so no. We're all British here, right? Well, you're not native British, but you get the drift. Your officer, at least, is. Wait, <laughs> is that a corporal? That's not a corporal. That, is that a sergeant? That was a corporal. I'm general doing over here with the land this rat. Come on, general, we gotta kill more than just that. Yo, we need to, we need to make sure that this army gets rat up the field. All right, now you, my friend, get over here and help me. See how far it will take you. The general will probably have more kill by the time we get there. No, he ain't either. Might kill them all. Let none of them cross the line, right? Probably wrong, one of them probably did. Ah, uh, the one back here did. Alright, well, I think I'm not mistaken, we can end this battle. 
heroic victory. Heroic victories usually mean the only reason why I did that battle, guys, is that you guys can see the units. Uh, so we have a lot of men we can use. Um, my plan is that I want to be able to get look eight to four hundred forty-one. I hope that can be carried. So we lost two of the friendly fire, and I already know where those two did. Uh, that was artillery. Who got the highest amount of kills? Oh, it doesn't tell me. Uh, it's always Cav who got the highest amount. Okay. Forwards for crown and country. All right, so we need to repair. You too. Yes. Mm, yes. At the ready. All right, so let's send. Send these men immediately back, and we'll send you men back. Get ready, ready Run. for orders, Your Majesty. By the left. Uh, we're gonna Run. break this army up, and we're gonna use these men. Uh, well, let's get some Highlanders. They look nice. Baby, they look nice. All right. Um, so we get two Highlanders, two Cav. Your humble self. Highlanders, two cav, three more infantry, two artillery. I do have a full army. Minus it, this guy's gonna stay in the city. We have a full army to work with soon. So that should be good. Um, just so we can use this recruitment port, I'm gonna go to six right here, so that we can start ferrying troops out of here, cause. There's a lot of troops we can recruit here, and um, I don't want to waste that recruitment up. Because if all else fails, and say we lose an important region, right? Uh, hmm. no, I kind of like that. I like some priests. Start getting everybody to like be Protestant. You see, my government is Protestant, where we. Every, all the lands we own are Hindu and or Islamic. I don't know, we have some Catholics and some Buddhists here. What about here? Islam, Hindu. Hindu and Islam. Islam, Buddhist. So, there's no Protestant at all. Yeah, no Protestant. Alright, so... Next turn we can over another trade route, and that's going to be with Austria. Alright, so, I'm hoping that Portugal, Port, not Portugal, Portugal, either loses to my sword, or loses to Spain. So that this promise will be owned by my sword or rebel. Then I can send some troops in. Capture Goa and own all of India. Uh, Mughal Empire, I'm gonna have to backstab. Uh, that's only one guy I'm gonna have to backstab. Alright, so I got more troops built up. Lord. As you guys situated. Forward! So I merge Wait now. Yours. Your Boom. Full stack army. Ready to march on the enemy. Mm -hmm. I have a six rate that I can use. And there's some Roth and Pores and Sitar that need. I need some caption. It's got a major fishery here. Nothing there. Fishery. Nothing. Oh, you mean to tell me that I built this navy? How about this? We'll send them to the West Indies. And then we'll see what he can do. See if he can hop over on a trade port. Ordnance factor, what does that give me? 
Good observatory. So I'm getting cobbled roads now throughout our places. We don't even have roads here. I'm gonna leave my infantry there just because you know that that's giving me a bolster of stuff. Um hmm. I really should start getting a second army prepared. Who would be who's closer to a road that would take me into here? First, I need to try and grab Satara. I think the best way to do that is going to be land and take a port. And the closest port for me to land in is down here. So... Does this general have any experience? Right. Can anything? Alright, so my best general is over here. So what's gonna happen? Sir. You. I'm gonna hop back in here. I'm going to prepare an army for you. Uh huh. Then what's gonna get down here? Alright, so we're gonna start preparing an army and we're gonna get some good artillery over there. Sir. Get an army prepared. And we're gonna ship this guy. We're gonna land him here, capture Satara. And he's gonna work his way up. Probably get these two regions and hold. This guy's gonna come in here and try and get up to Punjab. Grab this and grab this. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get two armies, capture three regions. If not, I have four armies at my disposal to capture five regions. So. But I gotta eliminate these guys one at a time, because if I do not, I can't eliminate all three at a time. So, Maratha's first, then Mysore, then Mughals, and if Portugal is not dead, then Portugal. We have time left, I guess we can expand into Pakistan, like, in Afghanistan, because the um, British actually did uh, when they got India off the British East India Company. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and turn. Did I even start that timer? Okay, I did. Alright, so... The uh, schedule, I haven't talked about it yet. So I will make an announcement uh, video on the new schedule, but... They want that for that. Uh, you're indifferent towards me. I do that. That's 610 gold. You know animal husbandry. Good for you, Prussia. Maybe you'll like me. Alright, so. Uh, the new schedule is on Mondays. Peace treaty. No, because maybe I might take you out. Hmm, don't know. Maybe I might build an empire. That'd be funny to see. It really, it would. Why are army so slow? Ah, uh, because I don't have cobbled roads. Yeah. Oh shit, no. Ready for order. Why can't I get this horse artillery? Oh, because I don't even need to.
Actually, just you three. Just to keep down some public order, you know? You know what I says? And I, let's hope and pray that this guy... Hope that this guy can, uh... Just maybe, uh, bring some money back to us. We cannot, the ports in her region are full capacity. Someone to trade with me, Denmark. No, Denmark, you ask way too much. No, because I know what happens to the crime. Yeah, I'm gonna lose out on that trade. Let's get some. Man, check my trade. Persia. Now you guys really don't like. Me. Colonies. Try it again. How about this? Alright, so let's see here. Thirteen colonies. Strong and affluent. Moderate and affluent. Alright, well, I think I'm going to try and get some trade with the 13 colonies. friendly with me and you can't even trade with me? Oh man. Ooh, that grinds my ears. Mm. Alright, crime, yeah. Alright, I'll give you that. Knock that off. Nah, you just want your technology from me. I don't like you anymore. Now my friend. Ottomans for some reason do not like me. Am I at war with someone they like? Alright, Savoy. Don't fail me. They failed me. I'll remember that one of these days if I can ever find you and kill you. Hi, Pressure. Would you like some trade with the... Almighty British East India Company. No one wants to trade with me. Why? Look at the Ottomans real quick. Religious differences. Same government check. National leaders are not respected. Minus six. States one of the protectorates. And don't know why you won't trade with me. Oh well, screw you guys. Alright, at least I gotta trade with somebody. How much money are we gonna make with trade? 
Someone's getting blockaded. See where all your goods are being raided. Because you're being transported over land. Land. Alright, so it looks like we're losing some money to New Spain from or from New Spain, Great Britain, and 13 colonies. So. Share with us. So, no trade is getting in for the Indians. So let's. Well, am I allowed to call them Indians? Yeah, I'm gonna call them Indians. I don't care. Um. So I, I guess is all the trade we're gonna get. Everybody hates me for some reason, and uh, we have until. So now 1870. 1870. Oh. Whew. It's like oh god, it's 1871. No, it's. 1871 is our money. 1857 is what year it is. We have until 18. We have until 1859, the year of our Lord. And um, to go ahead and march upon Hindustan. Am I correct? Forwards! March! What I should do, well, no, I'm, I'm not going to need to do that anymore. Can I recruit regular cab down here? You might as well go there, because I can already recruit two of you now. Some of you guys. Ancillary gain. Barber. Alright, so long. Um, look at your infrastructure now. 1500. Protestantism is going up. Yeah, girl. and maybe we might have to get a priest once we get it high enough. Right now, people are getting converted. Yes, nice, nice, nice. Religious and less are going to go down now in five turns. Hinduism is taking a toll. Good God, Islam, Islam's not going too far. Ready but. for order. Oh, we're gonna try and go for that. Alright, um, let's see anything else we can do across our empire. No. Alright, that's in the turn. Oh my god. Oh, guys. Sorry if you had a phone call in the back, I had to go answer that, but. Alright, so. We should be getting no more interruptions now. Uh, okay, so let's get a lot. So let's see here. What are Come about. Hey, this is a back, so let's retrieve. Withdraw! Back. Withdraw! Hi, aye, sir. Orders received and understood. Alright, so, this navy cannot create trade rounds. 
Ah, oh, crap. Alright, so we found out now that we can't use these guys to trade. Alright, um... Can we get metal roads? Holy crap, we can get metal roads. Your right. humble servant. Let's go ahead and raid this. And move on. Men in position! Forward! There we go, knocked out some of their economy. Alright, we're gonna um, Yes sir. We're gonna keep moving up to this bridge. We can't do that, sir. We can't do that, General. Okay, we're gonna move up to this bridge there. You ask too much. Alright, that's good. Your Majesty. We're gonna move you guys to there. March! And we're gonna have you, you. Just for crown and country. So now we need to recruit. Can't have any more missile cab. Oh, there's a liminal cab you can have? Oh, fuck. Alright, so... What's this limit? Let's get that. Uh, well, that sets four more units. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, so we need six. So I guess we could stick in another unit of Kirk, because that would be a good idea. I know. Just because I need about a third arm, man, I want to use all my skirmishers. We are a fleet. Not an army. Anybody need to pull out of here? No. Alright, All right, so next turn I'm gonna plug them in, send these guys down. Alright, so what's the religion now? Wow. Three point two already. That's looking great. But um Hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. Um, like I said, these videos are going to be coming out now Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and then Saturday. And that's it. Sunday, I don't know. But I'm going to try and get them out Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. The Great War Model will come out Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And American Truck Simulator will come out every day. So, that's going to be my plan for this channel. And uh, so, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please don't comment, rate, and subscribe. And we'll see you all in the next one. This is Dom Dog signing out. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.